Hi everyone. Picture this. You sit down to order a milkshake and you know that you must make a choice. Will it be chocolate or vanilla? Or what about strawberry? There are so many choices, each seemingly a good one, that it's sometimes difficult to know what to do. An already difficult decision becomes even more difficult because you are under pressure to make a decision. In life, we are often faced with difficult decisions. Many much more important than simply ordering a shake. Is it possible to make those decisions with peace, knowing that we have made the right choice or the right decision? Or must we live with worry and doubt, fearing that we made the wrong decision? Proverbs 16, 9 declares that the mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. You may not always have all the answers, but you can know that God has a plan for your life. It is important to know that if you are in relationship with God and you are living according to His Word, that you are not simply in His will, you are His will. Philippians 4, 7 says that the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, shall guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The peace of God is not something that we feel or feeling that we hope to attain, but it is a promise to be claimed. Many people base the idea of God's peace on how they feel. Instead, peace comes from knowing what God has promised in His Word. It comes from knowing that God has promised to direct our footsteps and then trusting Him to do just that. Too often, God's people struggle in making decisions. And then once the decision has been made, they are unable to enjoy them for fear of having made the wrong decision. This is not God's will. He wants His people to have joy, and He wants them to have peace. He wants them to trust Him. So go ahead and order that shake. And once you've ordered it, whether it's chocolate or vanilla, or maybe even strawberry, be sure to enjoy it. Your Heavenly Father would want you to. Now it's one thing when you are the one making the decision, but what about when you are faced with circumstances that are beyond your control? So what do you do when you are surrounded by uncertainty? and fear, and nothing seems to make sense. How do you have peace when you are not the one in control? Well, you know, that's just it. None of us are ever really in control. Most just do the best they can and hope for the best. How then can anyone have peace? How can we have peace in the middle of the storm? Understand that peace is not the absence of the storm. Instead, peace is knowing that God is with you in the storm, even right beside you in the boat is knowing that He is in control and that nothing is too big for Him. It's believing that He has a plan and purpose for you. It's the conviction that no matter the circumstances, He loves and He cares for you. 1 Peter 5 and 7 tells us to cast our cares on Him because He cares for us. True peace comes from trusting Him. It comes from believing that He is able to speak to the waves and say, peace, be still. But until then, He's with us and He is for us. So, you see, peace doesn't come from what we see, or how we feel, or what we know. True peace comes from who we know. Have a blessed week.